I'm this mom and I'm going to do all. And mm -hmm. now my body's saying, hold up. <laughs> Danielle, how are you feeling? I know that you opened up obviously recently about your health issues. I mean, you know, what's kind of the latest and have the doctors determine what's wrong? Um, no, I'm still on that path to some type of discovery. Um, you know, I've been seeing a cardiologist, rheumatologist, uh, gastrologist, which I mean, I could list and list of different procedures and yeah. tests and everything I've done. Um, I do not feel any uh, better or any cured or any by any means. Um, I'm just now in this phase of kind of going through like hills and valleys of, you know, I have a lot more pain and physical things here. I'm not capable to do these things, mm -hmm. but then I might today might, you know, physically be, feel better. But um, it's 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 hard um, because I am a go go person and constant multitask and everything, and so it's definitely has been hard for me to slow down and just kind of realize my body says no, I can't do this, and so um, I'm still working to discover what's the underlying issue with inflammation and everything that's going on. And so it's just, you know, a journey I'm on. Yeah. I mean, what are some things that like you can't, aren't able to do sometimes when you're, you know, really feeling at your worst? Yeah. I think when I realized it was something really bad and it was getting really hard was, um, when I couldn't go upstairs, like I couldn't make it up the stairs and, uh, that's just not, and that was the eye opening moment for me really when I was like, I have a problem going upstairs and I'm a mom who's always carried two, sometimes three kids upstairs. And, you know, maybe that's the reason why it hurts now, but um, I would just get out of breath or I can't keep up or um, I have constant pain in my neck and my back, um, constant migraines, a lot of uh, nerve ish feelings. Um, so I've been, you know, seeing a neurologist with stuff. And so it's just, it's, it's so unique and it's very interesting to try to figure out because like, it's not just, you know, my stomach hurts. Let me go see this doctor or my head hurts. Let me see this doctor is a, it's a lot of um, underlying things of just different struggles. And so it's, it's hard, it's hard. And so, yeah, I mean, Adam, it must be frustrating <laughs> for you to see this and not have any answers to. Yeah. I mean, naturally like you want, you know, whenever your wife is, hurting or struggling or something like that. Like you want, you want answers and you want to, you want to fix and you want to be able to fix it and you want to help her. And, you know, and it's been frustrating. I mean, obviously, cause we're in COVID, you know, she goes to a lot of appointments that I just can't go to. And, you know, she's seeing a lot of doctors and saying big words and stuff that we've never heard of before. And she's having to come back and relay stuff to me. And, you know, that's tough. I mean, it's tough. Like, her even understanding everything much less tell me about it and what's going on and and just really you know finding ways to be able to even like support her through it because mm -hmm. i know like you, you know you can see her frustration whenever like we go through another test or, or she goes through another test and you know and it and it doesn't really, really lead to anywhere it's just like another check off the box and then it just leads to another test or another mm -hmm. doctor and you know you just see the disappointment frustration and it, and it's hard to see that i mean it's answers um, you want but it still leaves you on the investigation path yeah, and so sure. you're nowhere any closer yeah, and yeah it's got to it's got to be emotionally draining i'm sure yeah. as well yeah. yeah yeah i mean so what are the next steps i mean you still are just going to new doctors yeah and so i'm still doing a lot of follow ups with mm -hmm. all the doctors that i've been seeing um with you know um, like tomorrow I'm having a colonoscopy done. So that's fun. Um, but you know, I still see my cardiologist. I still follow up with the rheumatologist and it's a lot of diffs. It's a lot of getting to the point where I'm having to do rep repeated, um, tests and a lot of the same blood works because mm -hmm. in some sense instances, like your body might have the reactions or symptoms before your blood, mm -hmm. uh, work shows positives in certain aspects. And so it's, I'm kind of starting a journey of, okay, let me start this all over again, right. which is exhausting. But you know, when I know, I, I just know I've been saying for probably a year, like something's not right. Something's wrong. Um, uh, it's, I just don't feel the same. And so that one, I took the initiative to look into that and got blood work done. It kind of set me on this journey and then, you know, ended up in the emergency room one day because I just had extreme pains. I thought I was having a heart attack and, 
then not being able to go up the stairs and just not being able to do my daily normal things. And um, so it's just, it's, it's hard. It's hard. And I'm one that doesn't really slow down or stop and don't really, you know, I'm going to, there's a lot of things I have to put in front of me before I can get to me, you know, right. having six kids and that need me to do this for them um, until they're of age where they can actually do it. And so it's been, it's been a hard, I mean, it's given COVID was one level of it, but then once I really started feeling incapable of not being able to breathe or um, physically can't pick pick up something mm -hmm. like that just became eye opening to me. Like I, why does my arms feel numb? And mm -hmm. You know, so it's just scary in a way. It is. Has it been hard to explain to the kids too? Because obviously they're so used to you being go, go, go and picking, picking them up and doing all these things. I'm sure that's, you know, it's hard yeah. for you to explain because you don't really know what to explain to them. Yeah. And that's exactly right. Um, you know, they, they are aware that, um, you know, there's stuff going on and mommy's trying to figure out what's mm -hmm. why, why she hurts or whatever. And um, when I went through like the emergency room, like they were home, like whenever that kind of episode happened and, you know, I've had to wear a heart rate monitor before and I've had a certain test that I'm having to prep for that they're aware of. But I think that is the hardest part is to say, no, I can't do this mm -hmm. for you because I physically can't. And that's probably the hardest thing to like digest mm -hmm. of, you know, mommy, let me get on your back. Can we piggyback ride? I'm, and I'm like, I literally, I can't do that. Yeah. And so it's like things like that. I think that's harder than physically dealing with the pain is like saying, no, I can't, I can't do that anymore or not today. Or, um, so it's, it's, that gets to like the, uh, the mental emotional side where you, mm -hmm. you know, cause I'm like, I'm this mom and I'm going to do all. And mm -hmm. now my body's saying, hold up. <laughs> <laughs>